Season three is underway and we are so excited because we brought the show home, back to where it all began. We are absolutely thrilled to be here. We've got some big things planned for season three. New music, new recipes, more fan interaction, and that starts right now. So we're going to kick off the season with a request from a fan. They wanted to know how we made our pesto. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a pesto chicken saute dish and uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about 10 to 15 leaves of fresh pesto, uh, fresh pesto, fresh basil leaf, and we're going to put that right in the food processor with about two cloves of fresh garlic. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to grind that down so it's almost kind of pulpy. It's, it's very, very minced. Then uh, we're going to add our pine nuts. Now, it's okay. You can leave the pine nuts out. There are a lot of people that have nut allergies, and that's fine. We're going to add about a teaspoon of pine nuts to that. Grind that right in. Now it's time for some lemon juice. I'm just going to squeeze about a half a lemon through my fingers so we don't get any seeds in there. Mix that right in. Now we're going to add our olive oil. We're going to add probably about two tablespoons of olive oil. Grind that right in too. Good solid pinch of the edge right in there as well. That's your basic pesto in a nutshell. Now, remember, I said nutshell, right? You can leave the nuts out of it. Uh, you don't have to have the pine nuts in there. People do have allergies, and I'm aware of that. We're going to put the pesto right in here. And it's going to give you probably about a quarter to a half a cup of pesto. And that's all you're going to need for the dish we're about to make. All right, so we've got our pan, our saute pan heated up. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I've got about a clove of minced garlic that we're gonna go ahead and start to sear up. And I took about one and a half chicken breasts and I trimmed them up and I cut them into strips. To cut all the fat off. We're gonna go ahead and get that rolling as well. While we let this chicken sear, I wanted to talk a little bit about the featured track of today's episode. It's EHR off of Recon by our friends and I Kill You. Check out their Facebook fan page. They have some tour dates coming up and they're coming to New England. They're going to be playing in Connecticut in October. And that's a show that we're definitely going to try to get to. So we're going to add a heavy pinch of the edge. And then we're going to add the pesto that we just made. Now. One of the coolest things about the pesto is there's a lot of things that you can add to a standard pesto. And this is basically a standard pesto. Again, you can leave the pine nuts out, but if you want to add a little bit of an essence to it, you can add um, banana peppers or you can add a little bit of the banana pepper vinegar to it to kind of thin it down a little bit. So while this is really sauteing pretty heavy, I'm going to take it off the burner for a second. We're going to add our featured wine. I'm going to add about a quarter cup to that just to kind of deglaze the pan a little. What the deglazing does is it takes the brown bits off the bottom of the pan of that good solid cooked chicken and it turns it into a sauce. And that pesto that we added in there would be great. See, now it's more of a liquid now. So now that wine's gonna cook down a little bit and it's gonna turn it into a sauce. All right, so we're at the stage now where we're going to go ahead and add, we've got about a, just under, but probably about three quarters of a cup of light cream, and I'm going to add that right to the dish here. And that's the good thing about adding the lemon juice early to the pesto, is that lemon and cream don't really like each other very much, but in this capacity, we're going to be fine. Because we reduced the wine down, we deglazed the pan, and now we're going to turn this into a really nice sauce. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add my favorite cheese, which is, what kind of cheese is that, everybody? You guys should know by now. It's Asiago cheese, which is in the Parmesan family. And uh, Bob actually set me up with a nice liberal cup here. There's at least a cup in here. We're gonna go ahead and grab a pinch 
And this is probably about maybe a half a cup. We'll get started with that. Give it a stir, see how that looks. And really what we're doing is we're just kind of bringing this together. You know, we just want the sauce to kind of come together. And uh, what we've done too is we went ahead and we've cooked up some farfalle ahead on the side. We blanched it and we cooked it up ahead. And um, we didn't add any cold water to it because we, we cooked it almost all the way al dente and let it kind of stay warm in the pan. So that way there, because when you run cold water over pasta, it, um, it closes the pores. And I think I've talked about that before on the show as well. It closes the pores of the pasta and, uh, and the sauce doesn't really stick to it. This way here, now at least the sauce will it'll act like a sponge. That pasta will suck that sauce right in. It'd be awesome. So what I'm doing now is I added probably about maybe a, a cup and a half of pasta right to that. And this is going to be enough for two people. And I added it right to that. So what I'm going to do at this stage of the game is now that the sauce is coming together, I'm going to give it a taste and see if there's anything that we need to add to it. How do we bring this together and call it a dish? Mm. The only thing I would say is we're gonna add the rest of this pasta, which is probably another quarter cup, just so we can get the mileage out of it, we'll get enough people, and then uh, we can feed everybody. And we're gonna add more cheese. Oh, this is so good. Guys, you don't know what you're missing. We're gonna give this a toss, bring it all together, and that's it. Now, we'll plate it up and we'll talk a little bit about the wine. So we're gonna garnish with a little bit more Asiago cheese after we plate it up. And the featured wine of the episode is a, a Shia Verdejo 2010. It's a Spanish white. And, and it actually, it's super citrusy. It's got a nice citrus flavor and it's a nice fruity flavor. It cuts right through the cream and it pairs beautifully. Like I always say, Bob finds the perfect wine for these dishes. Uh, it actually goes perfect with a nice pesto chicken. I want to thank you for joining us in our magic, madness, and our mayhem. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.